hello welcome back to my channel thank you very much for watching my name is Sean and today I've got a letter to my son you'll have seen that I uploaded a, a letter to my daughter last week because it was her birthday last week this week it's my son's turn they're both born within a week of each other so I'm doing a letter to my son and I shall start now dear beautiful boy you are such a delight you have grown up so much this year um both physically and mentally as well you're getting much taller i'm sure it won't be that long before you're taller than me you've just turned 11 which seems like a really big age it's your last year in primary school and i'm not quite sure where all of that time went i'm sure that i say this every single year but it just feels like life is going so quickly I am so proud of you, you are incredibly sporty, you always enter into every game of sport with full enthusiasm, you love playing sport, you gave up rugby, that's probably like a couple of years ago now, but your football has taken off, you now play for the under 11s and the under 12s just to try and get in a few extra games of football, you practice all the time. You're slightly obsessed. You got top goal scorer last year and I don't think anyone else has ever won top goal scorer in your team. To the point that this year there isn't a top goal scorer because you win it every year. They've taken away that trophy this year. There's going to be a best goal this year. So with any luck, you might be in with a chance of getting that one. You can see all the trophies behind me. Um, you care so much about football. You support Burnley, which is absolutely fine with me, and you're going to be a mascot soon, which is very exciting. I can't wait to see you on the pitch. One thing I definitely approve of this year is you do not collect match attacks anymore. Match attacks were the bane of my life. They were forever showing up everywhere. We spent an absolute fortune on them. Yes, you loved them, but oh my goodness there were just so many of them and you didn't do anything with them so um i'm quite pleased that you have given up the match attacks this year you also did cross country this year you did trials for your region and i was really proud of you for doing that and you also did a fell run and you'd done it the year before so i hadn't worried about you as much this year but it is quite scary seeing your kid disappear off up a giant hill and what I've enjoyed about watching you do them is that you're doing them not because you think you'll win, because you know you won't win, but just to do them and just to take part. And that's amazing because a few years back you definitely wouldn't have done that. You are still insanely competitive, but I think you've learnt now where your strengths lie. So if it's something like a fell race, you know you're not going to win because there are other children who do this week in week out and that's not something that you give your time to so it's quite mature of you to see that you might not win that one but you're just going to take part and have fun in it anyway your minecraft obsession still continues you know literally i think everything that there is to know about minecraft and you still watch all the youtubers stampy down tdm and some ones that i really don't like um but you do enjoy watching them and you pick up so much information from them that you then put into practice when you're allowed on the Xbox. I don't allow you that long on the Xbox and I know this is a bone of contention with you because your friends do get longer on the Xbox than you. But I'm not willing to kind of lose that sporty side of you and the side that enjoys being outside and playing and just doing other things other than sitting inside on a computer because for me that's not a good thing. You have had to deal with resilience in the past year and I am really proud of the way you've dealt with that too. Um, you worked incredibly hard for the 11 plus and you just missed out and that was devastating for you and I know it was because you really really wanted to go and you had done exceptionally well on all the mock tests that you've done so I think we all thought it was a given that you would be going. Um, and maybe we shouldn't have, maybe we should have spent a bit more time preparing you for the actual day. I don't know, but you are going to be going to a fantastic school anyway, an outstanding school, a local school, and one where all of your friends are going. So I think it will be a very good school for you, but I have been very proud of the way that you've dealt with that rejection and 
not getting something that you really really worked hard for because that's a really tough life lesson to learn it's one that i don't think i've learned fully yet and it's one that is really difficult to learn you're always supportive of me and my decisions and what I choose to do in terms of a career and standing in politics. In fact, it was you who's pushed me to stand in this year's elections. And I'm really, I, I think that's brilliant that you're kind of saying, go on, you can do it, mummy. You know, it's really, really nice to have that boost of confidence from you as well. So thank you for making me stand. I'm slightly scared about it now, but um, the canvassing has begun in earnest. And that is thanks to you, so thank you very much. Your favourite food is now a camembert. Um, you had birthday camembert yesterday with two little candles in it and that made me smile. I love how varied your tastes are, apart from when we're on holiday when all you seem to eat is pancakes and then bread and then pasta or hot dogs. You have an exceptional talent for eating white food. I am possibly not that proud of that. <laughs> You're an amazing little boy, you work really hard at school, you have a really good group of friends, you've had lots of friends around this weekend to play and it's been really nice to see you all together and I love how you all interact together, it's really really nice to see. You and your sister could still be a little bit nicer to each other, I'm hoping that one day soon you will start being nicer to each other and actually getting on and realising that you two could be so good together you could have so much fun together and all that's stopping you is both of your pride about getting on with each other you don't have to always get on but you could be an amazing unit um you don't need me to tell you this because you definitely already know this i'm very very proud of you my sporty happy kind little boy i hope you continue growing up just as you are because you are turning into a wonderful young man i love you very much and i'm gonna blow you a kiss even though you're gonna hate it <laughs>